You get to choose between these two. What are your numbers for your first pair? Uh, three and six. Okay. So you will choose between some point you failed or gave up on something, or okay. someone failed or gave up on you. Um, and then the other choice is that you had problems with nobility or authority. I, as a minister, I think I'm going to have to take the last one. Okay. Go ahead and, and, and choose that one. So problems with authority or nobility. Yes. You <laughs> now in your case you did not tie them together, so you have personal separate problems with this. <laughs> right? So then uh for your second numbers, Nate. Yeah. What are they? Uh two and nine. Okay. So you have uh a very interesting choice here, something called a dark horse victory. So some point in one of your upbringings. Yep. Something unexpected or unknown arose to accomplish something astonishing for you or to you. From nowhere to return to nothing, what happened? Some mysterious force appeared and this happens to you. Oh. Whatever force it was or whatever mystic situation. Now you can associate this with any of your upbringings. With any? Yes. Oh, so the problem with authorities, I could... You can put it with any of them. Oh, all right. They are not in order ah, yet. No. You nice. will place the order. All right. And so, what's the nine one? one? Uh, then the last one is what? Uh, what's the number two for... Oh, that? oh, sorry. Yes, um, that was... And then the one for 92, that means that you would reserve this and then look at everybody else's backgrounds and decide which one you share with them. Wait, the nine? Uh, no, they, they are. Uh, mm -hmm. Think, think they are. So Twenty nine or ninety two. Yeah. Oh. And then that's why. That's why I have a hundred things here. Oh. Or, that's why I got two right. choices. All right. So I can also say just check what the other ones are. Right. right. I just wait for now. Yeah. Okay. Now let's look at your last pair. Uh, zero six. Okay. So uh, for the first choice or option, you have uh. A deep-rooted conspiracy. Something was covered up, and what happened? How did you get involved? Do you even know how deep it goes? Yes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and the second yeah, that one one's just going. dying for it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And um, so then, what's the sixty-one though? Yes, just in case. Yeah. Um, in case it's even yeah. used here. Yeah. Uh, overshadowed or outdone by someone. Oh yeah. Um, it's uh, or out. perhaps you overshadowed someone else and they came to a bad fate because of it. Either one. <laughs> Those are all pieces of this overshadow. You, know. you will notice that inside them, they also let it be for or against you. So there's a lot of choice here. I think I know which one. I will so see what to choose whichever now. one you want for all of those, each one of those choose. So you will have three backgrounds. And then you will associate them with your upbringings. You have an order for your upbringings too, correct? No, not yet. Okay. Because I have not chosen the, the second one. Well, I was no, no. What I mean, okay, there are upbringings yeah. like oh, shamanism and so shaman. Uh, which, which, uh, um, right. So what order do they go in? And then you will choose which upbringings go, which backgrounds yeah, go with yeah. each one. So, I mean, did you just become a shaman, or was it the first thing you did? I think it was the first thing. Okay. And, and, beast, I was mm -hmm. and while Nate is thinking, we might as well go to the shaman things yep. and see what your... Because you are going to be a lot like the Burning Man. There's going to be a lot of yeah. things to, to check and decide. Here we are. Okay, first of all, you have a lot of abilities that you just get all of them. Hooray! Okay? You get to... You can write these down. Uh, under shamanism, you have a uh, bonded animal. It's you can, you wait, also, yeah. Wait, wait. Huh? Oh, the pen was bad. Okay. I will go with the pink one. Mm -hmm. Bonded animal. You also have sky burial. Sky. So, if any spirit that you gave the body a sky burial to, you can summon that spirit, and you summon it into a bunch flock of birds, like vultures, any kind of bird that eats bodies. Yeah. And uh, you uh, 
you summon it to you and you can uh, 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 communicate with it and tell it what to do. Um, and then alternatively, in, when you're giving a sky burial, uh, instead of giving an organ to the birds, you save that one and eat it yourself. And if you do that, then you will take a little damage because it's a little bit of a blasphemy. Cool. And also, but you get visions of the... all sorts of things, Ooh. all kinds of things. The soul will whisper its agonies to you and maybe even force a change to your personality. So I can either uh, give the piece to a bird. Well, you would give the whole body to a bird, the, the right? Whole bird. Yeah. And, and I will get... That you can summon it. The you can so summon the birds. So it's kind of double bonded animals, right? In correct. that regard, yeah. Uh, either or, I can eat some of it. Yes, but these are off. This these are not things you have to pick now. No, no. Having sky burial means these options. I are can just do things. it. I yeah, can do it. Whatever. But but and we can also options. assume that you gave a sky burial to somebody in the past. Oh yeah. So I, this is the first one. Right. So I've been being right. a shaman. A little, uh, right. For a while, so yeah. that means during play, if it makes some sense that you did a sky burial around here, yeah. then we can yeah. assume that you can do that thing. Yeah. Okay. Then finally, you have death speak. You can seek out spirits, see them, speak with them, and know when an old spirit has reincarnated. Uh, also, if you die, you will you may choose to be reincarnated and remember your <coughs> remember your lives. So there's rules for that. It's about making up a new character mm. and uh, that, that you will have an interesting relationship mechanically with your old character. So that's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. So that's what uh, the shamanism gives you. Yeah. Nate, where are we? What backgrounds did you guys have? Okay. <laughs> let's, let's all have a big background conversation and I have start connecting things. Battle and conflict, local reputation, and problem with nobles and a court. I have great risk taking and anger hatred. I would really come into that conspiracy of yours. Okay, so you will yeah, share his conspiracy. Yeah. Yep. Now, so, mm -hmm. so for you. I'm, yeah, I'm thinking about the checker figure because I had a choice of. Either uh, a shared background with someone, mm -hmm. or that mystical right the black. What was that? It's called the Black Horse Victory. Some victory for you came about, or victory for somebody came about through a mysterious agent that you don't really know what it is or why. All right. Now it wouldn't be kind of cool if he had a connection you to you what? and you had a connection to her. Right, yeah. so that way the characters have sort of a triangle of relations and shared history, but that's up to you. To be, I'm thinking that could in that case be a fun loss victory uh, situation there. Oh, for that? Uh, for, the, for, for the okay. uh, Black Horse, so. Okay. Uh, so, what are your three upbringings that you have chosen then? Or three backgrounds, I mean. Uh, let's see, Black Horse. Uh, it is problem with nobles and authorities in Minstrel. Okay. Uh, black horse victory, you said? Yeah. Horse, uh, for the tragic figure. Mm -hmm. And conspiracy for the burn man. Well, this, ah. this was the entire thing, uh, what the uh, conspiracy was called. Um, oh, I see. Uh, it was... I have to find it. What was the number? Uh, 06. Zero six. There must have been 60. Ah, oh, there it is. Sure. Um, Six. Ah, deep rooted conspiracy. All right. And yeah. then you get that one and mark it that it is shared with him. Let's get some names, do you think? Yep. Yeah. We, are, we are through the hard part, by the way, just so you know. Yeah. Okay, so if we take a look at you, these are some useful names for Thresh right here. For your names, we have that they are gendered. For your culture, so they are right here. So you can pick one of the names or like come up with something similar or correct. So ah, here is a nice thing for the uh, Thracian. You're of the the lineage is Jasur, the blood of kings. They are the masters of cities, purveyors of civilized decadence. The Thracian people show through art and intrigue just how bright the light of man can shine and how deep the shadows can dance. 
sounds about right for you. Yeah. And then in the case of the uh, Prekan, the lineage is the first man. And it says, when the Asteri ruled in ancient times, the Asteri are now broken and wandering and crazy and have no home, right? But when they ruled in ancient times, the Hrekans were their servant class. Uh, but when madness washed over their masters, they broke their chains and took to becoming horse lords of the steppe. Nomadic people, the Hrekans, value freedom, wind, and horse over in, 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 in seas. So fair enough with that. So that's just a little bit of a review. You will pick something called a prime, which is your character's sort of top priority, which is the, called astra, determination. Astra is basically magic. So any of those. If you have questions on what they mean, because it's in English, and then he explains the rules a little bit, but your primes and then what are called your traits will... Those will give you rebels. Which is for you? Uh, I was start thinking of determination, but then as a wisdom, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm a shaman. Okay, okay. It comes with the trade. Sure. Shall I put it down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and for you, honor or valor or determination, perhaps? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. Next sure. Do, uh, to tell you what we are going to do next, we will be picking two traits, but there is a chart for that, very helpful chart. You don't have to pick from a list. Yeah. And then we also will be, uh, with, there are some, some bookkeeping, you can, we'll talk about your gear and things like that, but that's easy. The, the other thing to, to work with is something called your books. And your books actually are exactly what we will use both before play and during play. Uh, books are an important mechanic. Um, you will be writing, you will have things that you, situations, very immediate situations, fictional situations, that would be important to your character. Two that would, as he says, make your soul grow. And two that keep you from doing that. And then you will also have vices and blights that will affect your books. You will have one vice, but no blight. You will have a lot. Yeah, you will be all kinds of things. Nice. In fact, while we are sitting here, you will take the easy example. Uh, you have a white shade, and you may choose foreshadowing the fall, despair, madness, or darkness. And you can choose inside one of those, but if you choose darkness, then we don't you don't decide, we roll. Oh. And these actually have rules. So each of these is things that will happen to you or that people can do to you at the table. I usually play characters with addictions, so we just Nope, that one. And it's a little too easy for shamans, you know. Of course, oh, yeah. you're addicted to something. That's not a problem. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah so. but usually I'm I'm the drunk one. Right. Always. Right. Um, yeah, foreshadowing the fall, sadness. Okay, interesting. Uh, and I will. Can I? Are we trying to fixate them with the backgrounds? Um, can the sadness come from Yes, something? although uh, I will, I don't have my list of the blights. I might have to send it to you, but yeah. the, there are some specific rules. Mm -hmm. um, I think that you, we will save its content for the books yeah. for a moment. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So did you choose a prime? Yep. Which one was it? Guy. Ah, excellent. Okay. 